back. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about some thoughts on captioning on YouTube. And if you didn't know, Instagram recently released a captions feature for stories, which is amazing as long as people would use it. I tried it out. It's super easy to use and there's no reason not to. And it's incredibly accessible if you use it. So thank you Instagram for doing that. But back to the point on YouTube captions, specifically, like I want to specifically talk about the homeschooling parents that post videos on YouTube. Right now I'm homeschooling, I've been homeschooling since November, and it's been very frustrating to realize that every single homeschool video I ever watch is not captioned. People may say that Auto captions are good enough, they're better than nothing, they definitely are better than nothing. I don't watch any videos that have no captions whatsoever because it's too hard for me. It takes too much attention, too much focus, and it's just really not worth my time. Um, the ones that have auto captions on them, I will still watch them if I really, really want to, but if I'm not already familiar with the person, and don't already know that I'm probably going to enjoy the content that I get, I don't mess with it. Um, the other day, I have, I have videos in my Watch Later list, and about half of them are homeschool, and the other half were split between Saiso and, at the moment, I think it was Johnny Harris. And half of the Saiso videos had captions. Half of Johnny Harris' videos had captions, and zero, nothing, none of the homeschool videos had captions. And I, I just started to wonder, what is the least accessible niche of content on YouTube? What would it be? I saw a comment recently, not on any of the videos that I watch, but one that my husband watches. Um, a creator pointed out that they don't have any control over the auto captions coming up, and that is true, other than making sure that they're allowed on. But, somebody commented on it that creators don't owe me anything. They don't owe me any accessibility. They don't owe me captions because it would take them more time and more effort and either time and effort or money. I, I'm not out to make anybody's life harder. Of the homeschooling sector, these people are busy. You know, most of them have more than one kid. They're running a business on the side doing YouTube or blogging or whatever. I'm not out to make their life harder, but I don't see how accessibility could possibly be a bad thing. Would it be so bad to have to caption your videos and make one last video a week? I'm not out to make anybody's life harder. My brain keeps going back and forth between, I need these captions, they are glorious, they make my life better, and don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I, I'll survive without our captions, but the truth is, I want the captions. I want the real captions. I want to fully access content. I want to fully appreciate your content. And I want to be like, hey, Ben, you should watch this. They caption their content and I support them. And I can't do that. You don't owe me anything? But captioning is good for you too. If somebody searches for something, it can search the text in the caption to find the words that somebody searched for. It gives you a wider audience. There are millions of people that are deaf or hard of hearing and it increases your audience potential. If you need reason to do it for you, there are reasons to do it. And yes, it takes more time. Yes, it takes effort. But I 
at least would appreciate it. I know other people would appreciate it. So, all there's to say, please capture my content. It is so much more enjoyable and I can't wait to see what you have put your time and your effort and your passion into. Because everybody has something that needs to be said and I hope that you say what you need to say that will encourage people and make the world a better place. But I also hope that you do it with capture. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye.